Welcome to the lab on Nmap. We are here at the Nmap webpage, nmap.org, and you can see that you can download Nmap for free right from here. So that's uh, the idea of these labs is to allow you to be able to do them along with us or, or do them afterwards. So being that this is free, that kind of meets that goal. And if you look here, it says Nmap is a free and open source utility for network discovery and security auditing. Uh, basically what it is, it's a scanning tool. Now specifically, we are going to be use it as a, using it as a port scanner so we can see on our servers what ports are opened to assure that we don't have unnecessary ports opened on our servers. Now Nmap can do quite a bit more than this and uh, I do recommend that you take a look at, at it and play around with it, but for, our, for the lab that's all we're going to be doing. So I have already downloaded it and it's installed on my computer. It's a very, very quick process. Uh, here you can see I have a little bit of a cheat sheet up here. Uh, so Nmap is very, very, the syntax of this couldn't be simpler. It's, it's just like Nmap and the IP address of the server that you want to, that you want to scan. So here you can see that these all have the uh, 192.168, so those are private IP addresses. So that's what it'll generally look like if you're scanning, if you're on your own network, scanning your own uh, server on your network. Now you see that there's a couple of other options here. You have minus SS and you have minus ST. And if you're interested in using those, then go ahead and you can read through this just a bit. But for the demonstration, this will be sufficient to use. So let's go ahead and get to that demonstration. I'll go ahead and close this out. And Nmap, you just run it from the command prompt. So I'm going to Nmap my website. Now, it'll be smart enough to, you can either enter in the website or you can enter in the IP address. Either way, it's going to work. So we just enter it here, let it sit for a minute, and it's checking it out. Now it has to go through every, it goes through every single port. There it is, it's finished. So what, what do we see here? There are only four ports open, port 21, FTP, port 22, SSH, port 80, HTTP, and port 443, HTTPS. That's pretty much what you would expect to see, uh, the, the open ports that you would expect to see on a web server. Now, I don't own this web server. It's my website, but it's, it's hosted. So uh, my hosting company has set up the security on this, and so I can see that they're doing a pretty good job for me. Now, what we can also do, we could do nmap 8.8.8.8. Now, that is Google's DNS server that a lot of people use. I don't know if it's considered public or not, but a lot of people use it as a DNS server. So, out of curiosity, let's see what ports are opened on Google's DNS server. Okay, that's it. So you can see in real time how long it took and what port. There is one port opened. 999 are filtered ports and, 50, and port 53 is opened. So that's really, really good tight security because it's DNS server. Port 53 is the well-known port for DNS, so that would have to be opened or you couldn't use it as a DNS server. It also shows that there are 999 filtered ports. Usually that means that there's a firewall in front of it. That's when you see filtered ports. But 
the important thing is that you only see the one port opened. So if you do a scan against your own server, you could either do it from the internet or if it's or you can do it directly on your network. Either way, you should see just the necessary ports. If you see a whole bunch of ports that are opened, then you need to go to work and figure out how to close those up for best security. That is the end of this lab. Thank you very much for watching.